Hello, welcome back to Orphan Espresso. I'm Doug. I'm Barb. And uh, I'm going to do a, one more uh, video that's not covered in the manual, uh, but I think it, it will be important for someone down the line, and that's so talking about alignment of the burr. Basically, we're talking about alignment of the ring burr in the grinder. Uh, as I pointed out previously, this is we consider that the alignment to be permanent, factory aligned. And uh, in this module, there, let me go ahead and take it apart. Once again, finish off with the, with the axle, not with the, the brass disc. Okay. In this section here, if you should, we should happen to take this apart, this is held together with four screws. Some of the screws were this black oxide, and uh, we changed over to stainless steel at one point, which I like a little better. Okay, so I'll just show you how this is put together. Okay, this is the burr carrier. And that's machine Delrin. It's machine Delrin, okay. This is the bearing holder, which still has a little bit of coffee in it bearing okay now make sure that's good and tight now in this part here burr simply snaps in to place okay so if you should take this out it snaps in just like that Okay. This is not necessarily part of the alignment procedure, but so now. Generally, if you're checking alignment, you wouldn't have taken it apart this far, but I just basically wanted to show you what that all looked like. Now, what I've done is that the four screws that hold it Okay, now these four screws, they touch and they come back, loosen them up at least a half turn. Okay, so these parts are totally loose in relation to one another. Okay, now the part that moves, the, the, the part that's critical for alignment is that the, the Delrin piece, the holes are bigger. And the, that Delrin piece can move around, the, the, the ring burr can move around. Okay, so this is very simple. All right. I just push it down. So the cone burr acts as a centering tool for the ring burr. Okay. Now I take this and I just snug these down. Just finger snug. Okay. Those are finger snug. I turn this nice and smooth. Okay, now I go ahead and I reassemble this part just as I had in previous videos. These three pieces go on in this order. On comes the bat. I hold it against the top. I turn it to start the thread. Now, theoretically, the, the burr is generally aligned. Basically, I do this the very same way. I set this one click below zero. And this is just like setting it up before. Okay, there's my rub. 
I don't have quite enough of a click. So you go a little coarser a little on the coarser. brass disc. There's a nice click. Okay, that's my setting. Now, what I'll do is I set this at 200. Mm -hmm. I hold it upside down and I listen for any rubbing. Okay? This part is that what I'm doing is I want to tighten these screws so I maintain the parts are nice and parallel. In that's a done with the grinder set on 200. On 200. In a sense, you're, you're, you're able to, to affect the axial alignment uh, if you over-tighten one of these screws in relation to the rest of them. So I'm basically uh, going a little tighter and a little tighter and checking back to make sure that I don't have a, have a rub because if, if the, you tighten the screws, uh, you get the whole thing cattywampus. So you snug those things up and that's basically it. Your main alignment motion was pushing down straight in here so the cone burr moves the ring burr, the small amount that it needs to move uh, the Delrin carrier in order to be aligned. Then you come back and you check to make sure that you've tightened these down fully. Uh, you can use one of these. You get a pretty good control feeling to get the torque down. They're, they're, the torque is so light on these, it's hard to get a torque wrench to function. Now you check and it's nice and quiet. Okay, so it's well centered, it's well aligned. That's the alignment. In, in, a, in a certain sense, it's almost automatic, but when you tighten the screws, you have to make sure that you tighten them very evenly to make sure you have a nice parallel surfaces between the cone burr and the, and the ring burr, and, then, and you don't get it screwed up. So that's basically it. You put the handle back on and you're done. That's the alignment. And hope that